The famous British philosopher and economist, John Maynard Lord Keynes, one time said that if you really wanted to destabilize a civilization, the best way to do it is to simply inflate the currency. Very, very few people would be able to realize that the real problem was caused by some little guy in the basement of the castle printing out currency as fast as he could, and instead they would all turn on each other for rising prices, accuse each other of price gouging, and eventually riots would take place. In spirituality, what Keynes is talking about is most of us interpret symptoms instead of diseases. Most of us see the seeming of things versus the actual seeing of the things. We don't see what's essential. We see what philosophers call is accidental instead of getting to the root cause. Today we have a very, very similar situation worldwide. We're in a recession definitely, perhaps even a depression. Markets are crumbling and everybody's running around trying to come up with economic solutions to what apparently is an economic problem. And while there's definitely economic aspects to this worldwide recession, possible depression, there's a bigger picture as well, I think. Right now, millions of people are depressed in America. Depression has reached epidemic proportions. Millions of people are experiencing depression, and millions upon millions of prescriptions are being written every year for people battling depression. Our young people especially are afflicted. Our suicide rates among young people are way too high. And I recently found out that one in four incoming freshmen at a very, very prestigious university are already on antidepressants. So it would appear that we actually have a psychological problem that possibly t transcends our economic problem. But I think there's a bigger picture as well. And that's the spiritual bankruptcy that we're experiencing in the whole of Western civilization that I think is contributing, if not directly causing, a lot of our psychological depression, and that our psychological depression may be contributing, or at least is mirrored, in our economic woes. Albert Einstein said, no problem can be solved at the same level of consciousness at which it is posed. In this example, what I think Einstein is saying is we can't cure economic problems simply with economic tools, because economic tools are the same level of consciousness as economic problems. And we can't solve psychological problems of depression itself with purely psychological tools as well. We need an overarching spiritual revolution, if you will, in Western civilization in order to be able to encompass and help us in all these other levels. Now, I'm not saying that people, I'm not for sending people back to church. And I'm also not saying that we don't need people like Paulson working on our economic problems. All I'm saying is that the old models are not working. Obviously, the message of God's boundless love that resounds from our pulpits every Sunday, or the touchy feely optimism of the new age, neither of these are working for us. We need a new paradigm. A new paradigm that helps people on a consistent day-to-day -day basis to look beyond the seeming to the seeing, to the spiritual seeing that takes us to the heart of what's really going on in the universe, to the heart of what's really going on in ourselves. And this is what I'm trying to provide.